Okay, so another question we got is to plop or not to plop? That is the question. So, plopping. I plop every day. Now, there are people who choose to plop overnight. I've never tried that because I'm afraid of hydral fatigue, if I'm saying that correctly. Hydral, hydral, hydral fatigue. It seems like it would be hydral. Like, I know. I, hydral, I did it and okay. then I had to look it up. But. <laughs> hydral fatigue, which is basically where your hair has absorbed so much water that it's like mushy and soft. And so I've never done that overnight. The only time that I ever plop is really to take the place of when I used to like wrap a towel around my head like turban style just to keep my dripping hair out of my face when I got dressed and put on my makeup or anything else. So now... I only plop for that purpose, but I use just a cotton t-shirt and I wrap it around my head um, just to absorb a little excess water while I put on lotions, get dressed, and, and you should always put on your shirt before you take down your plop and start to diffuse your hair because there's nothing like the neck of a t-shirt to destroy your fragile waves. <laughs> um, I think the whole plopping question really has to do with a lot of things, density, porosity, curl pattern. I mean, we're finer haired wavies, and what's the longest you would plop? Oh, maybe five minutes. Ten at five most. Five minutes, ten at the most for me, too. Yes. And I, or Otherwise, I, I have or weird I just scrunch. I, or I, right. It'll bend the hair's weird way. Our curl pattern's not tight enough, or the density. Yeah, so I think for finer haired wavies, it's just what we talk about, is what we know. Um, plopping Obviously. minimally. Like, you know, think about who you're taking advice from, and if they have, like, really thick or dense or coarse or long or, like, you know, massive amounts of hair, they can plop overnight. I plopped overnight. My hair was dry in the morning. You know, it all absorbed in the t-shirt. Like, right. there's no way my hair's going to be wet. And it probably looked horrible. No and offense. I may have been wet, like, <laughs> right there. And, I, yeah, and I probably had, and I was mashed down where I normally get the lift. And, yeah, why would this be lifted if yes. I have a t-shirt smashing it? Pl plopping for us is, is a function of, yeah. of absorbing a little bit of excess That's water it. for a limited Yeah, it's not a time. super major styling technique for us, like it is for some people to no. encourage their curl and take the weight away. Us, or or just... encourage their hair to absorb moisture and emollients and conditioners and things overnight. Like that would be horrible for my hair. So yeah. So plopping is not a necessity. You can just scrunch it out. Scrunch Good out question, the wet. Good so. question. So I wanted to. Um... Oh yes, you got this. So did you plop in the beginning? Because you have this lovely. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta see. You gotta see this. So you... my... the curly book. So my husband printed this lovely picture of curly from the Three Stooges on my original hair journal and then it got wet so, so how old is this book this is from 2015 so oh, this is two years this is a gem this is the beginning so i started in march of 2015 but i didn't start thinking about doing this until july uh, july so this first date in here is july and what, what kind of gems do you have in there because this uh, is like heirloom material this is like, <laughs> and it's all warped from water like getting on it in the bathroom <laughs> mine's digital i do mine in evernote so, so if you're curious i do mine in evernote but yeah there's something to be said about still doing it on paper I so like that. yeah in here i do plop and that was one of the first words that my husband heard me say and he tried to work it in whenever he could he loved the word plopping <laughs> he used it for months after i quit plopping even though I came back to this. Such an unfortunate yeah. word. But I did things like um, I used, after um, I wash, washed and conditioned, then my third ingredient is a curl enhancer, which is something people use here. It's not a big, it's fine. Um, and then I did a gel. And then after the gel, I did a curl cream. And I'm not really sure why that seemed logical because because in the beginning you don't know. I don't know. It's okay. But now okay I would do know. the curl cream under the. How gel. did your hair turn out that day? Um. What do you notice? Full, a little too much gel, <laughs> a bit of frizz, dry in the ends from the gel. Dry on the ends. That gel had a texture to it. So, um, plop ten minutes. Um. It's just silly, yeah. I actually wrote that I raked and prayed my product, and I'm not that specific anymore. I think I was actually probably like more organized back then. in the beginning, <laughs> yeah. like me. I'm still organized. I probably won't be this organized in another year. Um, okay, this one said I did a low poo instead of doing um, no poo co washing. I uh, I did a low poo, and it worked great. My scalp stayed clean for days. Yeah, so, and I had a smiley face, so. My biggest goof Big in the epiphany. beginning was I actually, because the only product that I had used for a long time was that curl enhancer, I did not really know it was a curl enhancer. I didn't know what a gel was. I really didn't know. I mean, I know that sounds so stupid, but like, I mean, it looked like 
if you've ever seen this curl enhancer, it kind of looks like a gel, like it looks like a jelly. So I just thought that it was gel. So in the beginning, I used, I think I used my KMS Curl Up Curling Balm. And then on top of that, I put my, oh, in the beginning I tried the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. So I put that on top. So I had like two curl enhancers mm -hmm. on top of a cream. And it was like, it was like a sticky helmet for the whole <laughs> Day. I just didn't know. I didn't know about LA looks. I right. didn't know about all these these gels that people liked until I happened upon this group, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you need to use gel." It was, yeah. Oh, so here's yeah. a good one. Oh, so, I want to hear. Um, I washed. With, I like early goof ups. Uh, I washed with Vo5. Then I did my rinse out with the Great Values, the GVP conditioning balm from Sally. That is like the Matrix dupe. Then I used Kinky Curly, not today. And then I used Ampro Argon gel, which is similar, but not quite exactly the same as the Eco Argon Gel because this one doesn't have protein in it. Because remember, I thought my hair hated protein, but it loves protein. Um, but you, it's never said no. <laughs> it's, my hair's never said no to protein. <laughs> never put up a fight. So after my gel, then I did my curl cream, and that's the Talia Wiji Curl Cream. So it's almost like a butter or a, it's a thick, thick lotiony. You know, there's shea, shea butter in there. And then I plopped for 10 minutes with this gel and the cream on top. And then I plopped. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it said not enough hold, which goes back to what I just said. If I put something soft on top of my gel, yes. it weakens my gel. It just cast. dissolves the cast. So I had, yeah. Bouncy curls because my, my hair was finally getting a little bit more moisture than, than it was prior to any of this. Great hair day. The hold is okay, even though I already said not enough. Oh, I expected it to not have enough hold. So I put my expectations in my journal and then what reality is. Like when I'm doing it, I think, oh, it looks curly or it feels too crunchy or it feels too soft. How did it end up hours it, after that? It said that it, the hold was fine. Um, I didn't really um, had to scrunch out the crunch. There wasn't much crunch to scrunch out because that soft stuff on top of the gel. And then I wrote, I think my hair doesn't love the gel. I don't know. So anyway, old gold. <laughs> I always encourage people to keep a wash journal because a lot of times they're not sure why or when. You can put the humidity and the temperatures or the season, or you'll see the seasons oh, if you've taken a include selfie. Include the dew point if you can. Yeah, if you I mean, if you took a selfie and you saw that it was good or bad, you can go back and see why. And um, if you're just trying a lot of products and knowing which order, or you might even say, I like this, but I needed more gel, or I like this, but I think I want to try the cream before the gel. Like it's a good place to do that. And you can kind of go back and, and I like doing mine digitally just because then I have the photos in the same places. I have the information She's of what I did. <laughs> Please girl. So then I can go back because for me, the photos are a real memory jogger. I can just scroll mm -hmm. through and see the photos and go, Oh, that was a good hair day. What did I do that day? Right. And it's so it's a good memory jogger for me. I like I like doing it that way. Um, I have a lot more um, wash day, especially in the beginning of a lot of wash day entries with no pictures. So occasionally I would take a picture if it was really good. Now I'm kind of at a place where I probably take more selfies and do more social media stuff where I am having a picture of my hair. But um, back then I would just be using this like ugh, little face, the squiggly mouth, like no, not a good, not a good hair day. So. Like not followed by a nod, another good hair But then you can cross-reference this with the pictures that are on your phone because you've got everything dated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So hair journal is important. It is important, especially when you're starting out and you have all kinds of questions because you can put your questions and come back and try to answer them and play with them, experiment. So. The curly book. So <laughs> Get yourself a curly book. <laughs> Well, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this and um, we've had way too much fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> um, doing this with you guys. And if you have any comments or questions, uh, let us know and maybe we'll do an, an annual anniversary. <gasps> that would be fun. I like it. Changed. So anyway, thanks for joining us, Talk guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.